She gains life. She explores. She gets big. She can even wipe the board. It's Amalia Benavides Aguirre. That's right, Amalia Benavides Aguirre, one of the hottest commanders coming out of Lost Caverns of Ixalan, and uh, I built this deck, so if you want to play it as a commander deck, you can do that. If you want to play it in Historic Brawl, you can do that. Um, there's so many different ways to take Amalia, we've kind of just done it all. Welcome to the Attic, everyone. I'm Mana Dad. This is the channel where we play what is good in Magic, mostly on Arena. Today we're playing Historic Brawl with Amalia Benavides Aguirre. <laughs> I didn't even mention in the intro, she also has Ward Pay 3 Life, so she's got her own protection. And uh, she's a feisty little vampire here. 2-2, um, two, two, but whenever we gain life, she's going to explore, which means look at the top card of your library. If it's land, you draw it. If it's not a land, put a plus one, plus one counter on it, and then you can put it into the graveyard or keep it on top, Okay. That's what explore means. It's weird, but it's it's nice. If you haven't played a lot with it, you're going to be exploring a lot. You'll get very used to how to play uh, explore if you play Amalia. Um, <coughs> then there's this other thing. Destroy all other creatures if its power is exactly 20. I have had this happen when I was testing the deck. So stick around, see if we actually get Amalia so big that she blows up the whole board. Um, that'll be a lot of fun. Um you can definitely build the deck towards that, and we kind of have. We, we're definitely going with a lot of life gain, but we've also got some combo in here. So she can be aggro, she can do a life gain synergies, and you can also do some life gain type combo things. So let's take a look. Um, turn one, we want to be playing, you know, we're going to play Amalia on turn two probably, so we want to play things like a Johnny's Welcome that are going to grow start growing Amalia immediately. Authority of the Consoles is nice because the opponents play we're going to gain life. That will help grow Amalia or draw us lands. Um, the other one to look at, of course, is Soul Warden, which is going to do both. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield, we gain a life. So that's on our side or opponent's side. Again, Amalia is going to grow, get big. <laughs> we're gaining life. It's a lot of fun. Lots of just really cheap creatures like Healer's Hawk, uh, you know, Ruin Lurker Bat, Flying, uh, Lifelink. we got a Vampire of the Dire Moon, her little vampire sister here with Death Touch and Lifelink. Um, fun removal spells like Nightmare's Thirst you can run, Uncommon, Gain a Life target creature gets minus X, minus X where X is the amount of life you gain this turn because this deck can regularly gain a bunch of life um, it's kind of a thing it's also a trigger for Amalia, right? we just like to be hitting those life gains because we, are, we can run stuff like Book of Exalted Deeds which is a life gain payoff at the beginning of our end step, if we gain three or more life this turn, create a 3-3 three, three white angel creature token. Book of Exalted Deeds, as many of you probably already know, has one of the stupidest combos available on Arena and in Commander. So you can turn a land into an angel, a land such as Faceless Haven or Mutavault, which have all creature types. They're an angel. Then you do the play three, tap, exile Book of Exalted Deeds, put the counter on the, our angel land, it gains, you can't lose the game and your opponents can't win, all right? Then the turn ends, it goes back to being a land. Unless opponent has land destruction, uh, they just lose. <laughs> I mean, uh, well, you know, I, I guess we could still, well, we can't even lose the game if we draw out a card. So um, then it's just uh, a matter of good luck opponent. Um, th so that's, that's what, combo number one. All right, combo number two is maybe more obvious. It's the Exquisite Blood Sanguine Bond combo. Exquisite Blood says, whenever an opponent loses life, we're going to gain life. And Sanguine Bond says, whenever we gain life, an opponent's going to lose that much life. So this creates an infinite loop, all right? We also have Veto Thorn of the Dusk Rose, which has, whenever you gain life, opponent loses that much life. So that's a duplicate of Sanguine Bond. So we have a couple of tutors to get those. We've got Beseech the Mirror, which um, unfortunately can't put these into play, but it can put Veto into play. Um, so if we have Exquisite Blood, we can Beseech the Mirror, go get Veto, and then we just need something to gain life and just start the trigger, and then we win the game. Uh, of course, our deck is filled with things that gain us life. Um, Elas Ilkor, uh, Impassioned Orator, Blood Artist. Uh, this is 
arena, so they've nerfed it slightly. Uh, whenever a blood artist or another creature dies, target opponent loses one life, you gain one life. Um, I don't remember what the paper version is, but it's slightly different. And um, so it's even better if you play this in paper. And of course, Meat Hook Massacre is nerfed on arena, um, but it has a life gain ability on it in regular and paper. So if you're playing Commander in paper, uh, really good card. Of course, very expensive card. Um, and you don't necessarily need all these. That's the other thing. You could build Amalia with a lot of just commons and uncommons and uh, do very well. Sorts of Plowshares is technically an uncommon, I think. Um, what else can I say? We got stuff like Diabolic Intent is another tutor here. Um, Grim Tutor is another tutor. So... We're either coming out the gate with a bunch of small creatures, gaining some life, making Amalia really big. If they can't deal with that, they lose. If they do manage to deal with that, then we're going to try to set up a combo finish with either making the Invincible Angel of uh, Faceless Haven or Muta Vault and Book of Exalted Deeds, which, by the way, is a legendary artifact, so we can find it with something like Search for Glory that can search up both parts of the combo, Book of Exalted Deeds or a Faceless Haven. Idyllic Tutor, of course, can also search for enchantment cards to search up these parts of this combo. And uh, so we can, <laughs> Grim Tutor can find anything. Um, so we can do that. You could, <laughs> you could also, if you want to look up, there's other people who've done a Lurus version of this deck, which is more the aggro version. Just have a lot of cheap ones and twos, run Lurus as a companion, and just overwhelm people with aggro. Um, but okay, if we survive to the late game, we're going to set up the combo. We're going to try to win that way. Mana base is um, a lot of snow lands and a lot of helper lands. Let's see how many lands we're running. We're at 40 lands, okay? So we're not really stinting on lands. Plus, we've got Agadim's Awakening, Hagramaling, and Malakir Rebirth as um, these dual-sided, uh, dual-faced cards that can be lands for us. Um, Iganjo, Minas Tirith. Castle Lockthwain. Minas Tirith and Castle Lockthwain are nice. A little bit of card draw if we do end up in the late game. Um, stuff like Merix can create uh, creatures for us. Uh, Silent Clearing to draw us a card. Um, Scoured Barons running a tap land because it has a life gain trigger. It's always just good to set off. You know, if we if we get the Exquisite Blood Sanguine Bond co combo, hold back that life gain land, drop it, and there we go. Bob's our uncle. So that is the deck. As usual on this channel, I'll put the deck list in the description. I'll put chapter breaks so you can jump ahead to the games. If uh, or you can go to the very end. At the very end, I'm going to show you the win rate of the deck, uh, and we'll have we'll talk a little bit about how it performed. So stick around for that. Um, before we go, one last thing, one last bit of business. I am trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. Thank you, everybody. Just the subscribers are growing like crazy. Um, you still have time to get in and be part of the elite first 1,000. So thanks to everybody who subscribed and um, do consider being part of that. Once I get to 1,000 subscribers, I'm hoping I never have to mention it again. YouTube likes you to get to 1,000 subscribers. And so we're going to do that. And then hopefully we'll shut up about it. So if you are sick of content creators talking about subs, um, hit that subscribe and help this one shut up about it. All right. That is the deck. This is a really fun deck to play. I hope you enjoy the games. And I'll be back at the end with the wrap-up. Playing Amalia. Aggro with the combo finish. TMU Field Researcher. Oh, we got Turn 1 Authority of Consoles or Soul Warden. Yeah, yeah, that's keepable. Any hand where you're getting Soul Warden down. It's going to be a good one. Uh... Huh. Uh, we can reveal a Plains or a Swamp card because we have Godless Shrine, so yes. They are in colors, which means that make it hard for them to remove Soul Ward. Not impossible. But white, green, and blue are not the removal colors necessarily. We'll just pay some life, because we're going to be gaining it. Land. Over to you.
Fortify should be nice here as for Sentinel. Drop me cards, thank you. Am I getting a little bigger? We can take out the Sentinel. We just play this. Auto pay. Opt. Took the damage. Maybe digging for a land. Swing in. Bean Stalker. What does this do, by the way? Untap stuff. <clears throat> Not one you frequently see on the uh, the old brawl cues. Mm, Wonders not clear. Trespassers curse. Play the block slain. No, let's just play the trespassers cast. Doesn't hit planeswalkers. Bless us. Nomadic lantern. Okay, they're ramping like the Dickens. Seems like their commander wants creatures, right? The plus one is to choose creatures. Um, if this would play out lands they know about already. Got Esper Santa, why not? We could have done that pre combat and then gotten in with Soul Warden also. Here comes Tamio. What's she gonna do? Will make it so our creatures draw them a card? Kinker Balloon. Here we go. You shouldn't have played creatures against us, opponent. Oh, Blood Artist, we are keeping that on top. We're going to take out Authority of the Console, sure. Blood Artist stays. Then go ahead, try and, try and hit us. Right, yeah, let's pay the three life. And then we will say no protection from white. And then what is on We might be able to use that to draw. Got a life. Um here I guess we'll take that. They're almost dead here. Do we just let him keep Tamio? I guess if we hit for one there. <clears throat> They can't minus two now. Flux Channeler. Trigger, trigger. 
Meat hook, nice. Should just close out the game. Echo Moon Gauntlet. Oh, I think that's a combo. So they're trying to storm off, take lots of turns, looks like. And the problemo is... I have become too involved with my work. Wait, how'd they get a... Oh, they proliferated? Okay. I have developed a new hypothesis. Well, annoying. There are three? If I just Vampire of the Dire Moon, Meat Hook for one... That does it. Amalia for the win. Be getting some timeout wins. We'll see if uh, anyone dares face the power of Amalia. Usually, Emoti players are down for a good time. Looks like a keeper. A Ludark turn one. Amalia turn two. We can do Elos turn two. We probably just want to start building up Amalia. Toy target creature. Uh. Don't actually think that's how we win against Amoni. I think we just try to get under Amoni. We have Hagramalling to kill Amoni. Want to show him in? Elas. Yes, it's on top of Mitok. Interesting. If we had Drath Magistrate to go search up here. I guess we'll keep Hagramalling live. Your opponent wants to play it. Would you like to chump? A rare emoji player that hasn't ramped here. Potentially go find a creature. What are they going to go find? There's some combo with the Modi I don't know about. I'd just go find a ramp creature. Then we'll just kill it and make them sad about their life after they spent so much time here. I do not have time for this. I do not have time for you. Thassa is interesting. Maybe just run out meat hook for zero. Me to the archive. Interesting. Jetristic study of all things. The land. I'm gonna need this guy back at some point. No diabolic intent. What do we want to get? 
Now we, it's, now it's our turn to take our sweet, sweet time. If it's something that costs two, we can play it this turn. They've got the, the mana to play their commander. Do we have anything that stops stuff from entering? I guess we can make their stuff enter the battlefield tap. That's pretty... That's pretty nasty. I like that as a play. All we gotta do is delay him a few more turns here. Agony of X equals two. Oh, they got approach. They hit approach. Okay. Nice, I guess. That's what they were trying to do off key of the archives. Give me back my two creatures. Do some triggers. Buck Escort, nah. I mean, we do want creatures probably to trigger things. Idyllic Tutor. Now that's interesting. Again, I don't think we're killing f that fast, so we're killing that slowly. Wilder's Enclave. That to the bottom. <clears throat> the opponent doesn't do something this turn. Any creatures they play are going to enter the battle. Okay. Everything goes back to hand. So they slowed us down. Congratulations. Uh, so we can, let's see, meat hook for one. Where that ramp. Play Lunark. Play Amalia. Selfless Savior. Probably not super useful. Well, I'm just going to play this as a land. We've got the closing statement in the anguished unmaking here. Stuff out of the way. Replay, replay key to the archive. Do they go find approach to the second sign once again? Look at Elos. I like your rebirth. Uh, I think we want authority of the console. We're, we're stuck on. Um, Alright. A bit stuck on white mana, aren't we? So if we play something that's a creature, maybe we hit it. Nightmare's Thirst is actually very good against a Modi, but no. Trespasser's Curse. I mean, that could just get him. Oh, they did hit a second approach? What? Alright. Good one, opponent. Up against Vadric, Astral Archmage. This guy is usually a storm commander. Instant spells, instant sorceries cost X less to cast where X is Vadric's power. And he starts to grow as day and night flip. Uh, we keep this. We got Skrelv. Don't really have a way to gain life, though. But definitely better. 
No putting hands. Let's let's go for something more aggro. Here we go. Lunark veteran. Much better. Keep. Mercurial Speldanza. Zap that. Eh. I think, we're, I think we have time to beseech the mirror. There's Vadric. So we have a couple ways. Let's just pay three life. So many ways to kill a magic. No lands, huh? Okay. Well, now we had the combo with the mutavolt, but. Oh, Warden. Oh, yes. We will keep that. Thank you very much. Uh, is it worth holding up Wandering Emperor? Maybe now that we have Soul Warden, we just play this God Flash, make a creature. I keep watch for intruders. In trouble growing, Amalia. Hitting too many lands. Abled Passage. Passage. Um, at this point, what do we want to do? Passage there, but oh well. I'm gonna kill the Soul Warden, eh? Okay. Seek new knowledge. Their problem is they are very low. I have got new moves I we just smack them for all we got here. They go to one. So even if they board wipe, we hit with hit them with a muta vault, and that's game. Did miss drawing a card there. It's, yeah. Sorry, Vadric. We got under ya. Amalia! Belevides Aguirre! Up against Force of Grixis playing Asper? Okay. Two lands, one of which is a tap land. We got a combo piece plus a tutor. That's very tempting. Let's keep it. Let's keep it. We can get a vampire going here. Maybe it was correctly a tap land. I don't know. If we draw it on tap land that can play Amalia, then we got Amalia with the tap land trigger. The vampire trigger. We do not get it. Alright. So it goes. Zer. Doing its Zer thing. There we get the untapped land. Get a volume down. Hope and not to hit a land here off the top. Uh, 
Aha, there we go. So it has a plus counter on it, so let's put Allenbach. This will protect Amalia against destroy effects. Vanishing Light, okay. Gonna hit Amalia. For your life. Back to the command zone with the. Um, I'm tempted to Grim Tutor for a land here, not to miss my land drops. Alright, clearly we should have held up Brave the Elements. Let's go search for a card. Exquisite Blood is the combo. We could also go get Vito. Well, let's get the combo in hand. Playing for that late game. Stone. Opponent just rampant. Christic Studi. A. Eh? Well, that's probably worth killing. Yes, I'll pay. Mothering tithe. Well, jeez. Okay. Guess we're gonna kill that too. Well, it's got all the tax effects. Hit you for one. Alleviate that. There's Zer. Mechas for three. Infernal Grasp. I guess they have Hexproof on their stuff, huh? Um, we can't play Amalia with protection. Let's just get Alsaid. Oh, they got some? Or is it just this trigger? Probably just this trigger. Gonna slow him down. I'd have to play a Molly in next turn to just start you know, digging for lands. Zer's back. Back to life linking and hex proofing. Okay, here we go. There's a land. We're going to hope they don't have a counter spell up, I guess. If they do, it's on to plan B. I do not have time for this. I do not have time for you. Uh, 
thing is... Now I just need something that will gain me life. I guess... Can they kill us? That can smack for five. Eight, nine. All right, it all comes down to this. What do we draw off the top? Pride mate. That's not enough. That is not enough. Ooh, up against Atraxa. Praetor's a voice. No. Keep it. See what kind of attracts that it is. is it one with lots of removal. Let's get the black man out of here. Never mind. Lulark veteran. Closing statement. Yeah. We'll keep that. Even though they know it's coming. does have the end step trigger, so that's annoying. Plaza of Eros. Curse you. Get Grim Tutor for something like uh, Source of Plowshares, maybe? Something really efficient. Efficient removal. Shocking. Annex Sentry, okay. You gonna pay with three life to hit Amalia? Sure. Um, can I move to the command zone? I can kill this Annex Sentry. You got all the tutors here. They're blocking. Give me my Amalia back. The Amalia's claws. Be careful of the heavens. That's interesting. Hit a tap land, so they're not playing the commander this turn. That's a nice reprieve for us. Uh, do I hit a land? Healer's Hawk. Uh. Good, but not great. We can just come back from the graveyard where, where they proliferate. They're just going to block. Oh, they're not blocking. Wow, they go to eight. Okay, very interesting. Do we... The Grim Tutor, we're not going to be able to activate Speaker of the Heavens very easily. Let's just search for glory, go get a land, and hit our land drop. I don't have anything to proliferate anyway. What can we... Get Oath of Kaya... 
USL core. A lot of options here. Maybe just go get Faceless Haven because we can um, potentially activate that next turn. Splendid Angel? Yeah, sure. Day of Judgment. Ouch. you for four or do I rebuild my board I can't quite actually I should be able to do this no I don't have enough to double spell well this is vigilance though right uh but then I don't have anything to play this with. Alright, well, let's see. They play their commander next turn, we kill it. Commander. Proliferate. I guess they bring back Void Link. And they can play it! So, this is three mana on the end step. If I do this, then I have enough to closing statement on the end step. Counterspell Infectious Bite, eh? Sure. Gotta do that before the year end step. This is gonna pause on the end step. Set a stop there. I can actually Grim Tutor here. They're getting us. They're getting us. Make it perilous for them to remove anything. Lifelink, though. I won't do it. Malacure Rebirth? No. Go get... What can we get? 
or anything that uh, really screws up. <clears throat> Maybe that kills a creature and leaves something behind. D spark. I guess that lets us cast something. We might have enough proliferate in their hand already. What does this thing do? If you would proliferate, proliferate twice instead. Alright, uh, yeah, gotta cancel. Might just be dead. So if they just do a proliferate. Okay, that's not a proliferate. Blister's insight, so I'll proliferate. Okay. Keep it void wing hard. Warlock class. No, well, I don't think that's what we need. <clears throat> we need like a meat hook or something. Can this go face? Three damage to a target. Should we start off with that? Maybe I know. Uh I do. Tap this for white, tap this for black. Tap this for colorless. Oath of Kaya. Get rid of the flyer. Idyllic tutor. Would be too slow, probably. Let's put like this. Power up the faceless haven. No attack. So they have to block Amalia. And if they play their commander, they take a damage from the Trespasser's Curse. So GG's, theoretically. Possibly. Well, it seems to understand the quandary they're in. Bit of GG. They got us at 8 poison, man. Okay. Good game. It's a close one. Hard fought to beat Atraxa. Okay, here's the stats for Amalia. 71% win rate. We went 5-2 and two in under an hour, actually. So the games are not that long. Even though we did get some opponents that were a bit slow. And uh, I guess... Full disclosure, a couple games opponents like conceded or timed out. We had a, a game where opponent immediately conceded a game where opponent timed out, which you didn't see. So, you know, it could you could read that as a three and two, which still means Amalia is a 60% win rate, which is pretty good win rate. 
um, for uh, this deck. But of course, on the Brawl Cues, you're going to get some of that every once in a while. So I think it's fair to include it. Anyways, thanks for joining me in the attic. Appreciation to everybody who has subscribed. Uh, appreciation to everyone who watches all the other fun videos we've made here. This is Man and Dad reminding you magic is a game so fun, even Dad's going to enjoy it. Adios.